This presentation is about the strategies for estimating the water budget at different scale using JGRAS New Age. This is an extended version of the presentation given at the AGU fall meeting in New Orleans this year. Uh, to put the topic to put the topic in a large framework, we have to say that the, the way of estimating water budgets uh, can be subdivided in four big trends in, uh, in literature. The one that uh, studies uh, global hydrology, where usually uh, the, the budget is obtained through modeling and remote sensing. Um, those papers that use the Budico curves and the Budico framework in general to obtain the, uh, the budgets. Uh, those, uh, as we do, that use models and measures uh, at various scales, and uh, all who does uh, use just, uh, just measures uh, of all the terms. As I said, our case is the case of uh, models plus measures. And um, in, in our specific case is the catchment scale. Anyway, a model just measure doesn't mean very much because we can have catchment scale, plot scale, plant scale, st group of plants, uh, hill slope hydrology, where we do the budget of a single hill slope, and so on. So our case actually is the case of the catchment scale basin. Catchment is a particular control volume, as you see, um, uh, whose limits are also um, um, uh, draw uh, along the, the delineation of a basin. And obviously all the terms that uh, appear are the usual that uh, we consider in the, the water budget, precipitation, evapotranspiration, and various type of uh, discharge or runoff. The specific case we are uh, dealing with is the, the Posina uh, River Basin, which is a small basin in the north part of Italy. It's 114 square kilometers. Um, this basin is flowing into the uh, Bacchiglione River and uh, subsequently to the, uh, to the Brenta River uh, till the Adriatic Sea. The water budget is, uh, can be written as... Uh, you see here, and um, the, the, the thing that we, we want to remark in this case is that uh, we are working for the Posina River in a hourly time scale. The Posina itself, as you can see from the previous slide here, uh, is subdivided in uh, uh, 14, um, 14 budgets actually, each one for each HRU or hydrological response units. Um, in each part of this the, uh, is uh, estimated the budget and the budget is eventually used to obtain the global budget at, at, the, at the catchment level. Obviously what it is interesting in the budget is uh, what we know and what we don't know and uh, the different application and the literature paper that can be found differs in the way uh, actually the terms are estimated. Uh, in our case, precipitation are interpolated from 12 uh, uh, gauge uh, measurement station or, or gauge station uh, for any hour. And um, uh, precipitation is separated, uh, rain, uh, rainfall is separated from snowfall uh, through uh, a method that uses satellite data from MODIS. Uh, these charges in our case are estimated through a lamped model, which is the uh, Akola Adige I mod model, which actually separates uh, the, the, the HRU that you see before. And um, the I mod is a very well known uh, um, model, and, and the reference uh, can be found in, in literature. Um, the left part of, of, the, of the equations is essentially formed from uh, uh, of unknown. Actually, the storage is unknown. And instead of uh, regarding uh, the actual evapotranspiration that we denoted here as ET, um, goes through a, a phase of uh, um, estimation of, uh, through, uh, through another model. In these particular cases, uh, we use 
uh, the Priestley Taylor formula. We have no time to explain the detail of the Priestley Taylor formula, but uh, essentially we have to focus on the alpha parameter which will remain uh, uh, not determined uh, or unknown if you prefer in the, in the following. Uh, gamma is called psychrometric constant, is a product of the um, specific uh, um, heat capacity of uh, water at pre constant pressure, P is the pressure, epsilon is the ratio between the, uh, the constant of um, water vapor and the dry air, and lambda is the enthalpy of vaporization. Um, delta, the big delta, is uh, uh, the derivative of the clausius clapeyron law, and it depends on temperature uh, expressing uh, centigrade in, in this case. Finally, uh, there are other two terms in the, um, in the formula. One is the net radiation, uh, which, can, uh, which can be uh, estimated in a very complex way. Actually, we do, we do in a very complex way. And uh, um, G, which is the... Um, the heat that is uh, um, consumed the, that fluxes into uh, into the center towards the center of the earth. Um, therefore, the for Priestley Taylor formula can be actually rearranged in the way you see here, where the hat alpha is uh, um, the real unknown, and um, because uh, the, the flux into the earth in the modeling we did here was assumed to be proportional to the, the other term. And uh, the, mm, we have the, a, a first uh, fraction, which is determined essentially on the base of temperature and pressure of the air, and uh, radiation. Um, say that uh, radiation is known uh, in some points of the catchment uh, through measurements, uh, but usually we, mm, we estimate it through a series of models that, that accounts for um, the, 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 the rugged terrain and the, the, the shadows, uh, all this stuff, and the attenuation that uh, are happening through the atmosphere. So to put the all together, the unknown are here um, uh, marked with the bright orange, and uh, while the yellow part can be considered known, and uh, in this case, we have two unknown and just one equation, which made it difficult to, obviously, to, to understand how we can close the, the budget. Um, alpha, someone could, be, uh, could think to, to estimate the alpha through literature, but obviously, after the, mm, how we manage it, uh, we cannot refer exactly to literature, and the literature usually also to refer to the concept of potential evapotranspiration, while the, here we are estimating the uh, actual evapotranspiration. In any case, uh, this value in, uh, in, in literature varies from 0 0.6 to 2.4 or so, so uh, four times uh, the minimum, and this makes quite useless the approach of using literature values. To uh, determine this, uh, uh, this, uh, uh, this coefficient, then we have to do some hypothesis. And the hypothesis we do is that after time Tb, um, the value of the groundwater return to the, the, the same initial value, uh, or uh, as expressed in this slide, uh, delta S is equal to zero. In this case, we can actually say that we know, we, can, we have a way to determine after times to be the uh, mean value, uh, the, where the mean is obviously uh, taking all over the basin and uh, at the same time over the, the time span TB. Uh, and um, this value comes from here, uh, from this equation, but um, um, Actually, uh, what we did was a little bit more complicated because precipitation was evaluated through interpolation of uh, gauge stations and, uh, uh, and the use of satellite data to obtain uh, the separation between snow and, uh, and, uh, and rain. 
while the discharges were estimated through a model, um, as we say, the IMOD model, and this model contains parameters. So uh, in uh, having data of discharge, we could uh, calibrate this, um, this model parameters and insert in the formula. But uh, we found convenient um, estimate together at the same time uh, both the parameters of the high mode model and the alpha values in a way that it can close the budget in the way we require after, after time TB. Our overall system is based on the J Grass New Age system. And uh, so um, uh, any part of the modeling is done by a component. And here you, you see an, a scheme of where these, uh, the setup of the components is, uh, is made. Going from the left to the right and from top to bottom, you see that there is a, a, the SWE, which is the snow water equivalent um, um, component that uh, is used to separate uh, rainfall from snow. Uh, the Priestley Taylor component that uh, calculates the, um, the, uh, the evapotranspiration and uh, a component that uh, brings in, in the system the measured data. On the second row, you see um, uh, the another part of the for the rainfall uh, um, snow water equivalent separation. Uh, the model, which is called the Adige, which is actually um, um, based on high mode, but is a group of my high mode, each one for any of the HRU in which the subbasin is subdivided. Uh, here you see a setup for, cali in the, for the calibration phase of the model uh, where we use measured data to calibrate the parameter of the Adige, um, of the Adige rainfall runoff model. And uh, we use this calibration um, tool, which is called LUCA, let us calibrate, which is inserted in the object modeling system, which is the overall framework on which the, our system is based. Finally, we have uh, in the um, bottom row also the component that does cridging, which is used to interpolate the various measurements that are uh, uh, initially available only in uh, 12 points. So we go to the results. On top, you see uh, the, the, uh, the budget of uh, the, um, the yearly budget, actually, of, uh, of uh, precipitation. And the, the, the dark um, blue is, uh, um, is no, while the, um, light blue, uh, the light blue is uh, just rainfall. The error bar represents the errors that were, uh, were estimated uh, in the budget by using the cridging, uh, the cridging interpolation. The cridging interpolation, in fact, in our system has also a leave one out a method to estimate, uh, uh, the, to, do, to give the error of estimates. Uh, this error of estimates then is used also in the part of simulation to extrapolate the error bars on the, the quantity that, that we give. On the mm, bottom plot, uh, you, you can see the uh, annual budgets of uh, discharge in um, red, the, the actual evapotranspiration in green, and the, the variation of storage in uh, blue. Uh, the bars, the bar represents the error. Uh, the bars actually were obtained by summing the error in the estimation of, uh, um, of precipitation and the error due uh, obtained by uh, varying uh, our hypothesis, meaning that uh, we were uh, um, aware that um, our choice of TB, the budico time in which the uh, groundwater returned to the same level is uh, quite arbitrary. So um, by varying TB from one to 10 years, essentially, uh, we obtain a variation in each of the fluxes that, that is contained in the error bar that we give in our estimates. Uh, one fact that, that can be um, seen in this uh, picture is that the uh, uh, actual evapotranspiration variation 
is uh, essentially very limited at the catchment level. Uh, this is not surprising because the main driver of uh, actual evapotrans evapotranspiration is the um, is the uh, the radiation and radiation uh, essentially has a, a, a small variation at year, uh, year uh, every year and uh, there are in this uh, in this case there could be more variation if we had include uh, the variation in phenology for instance of the plants of the um, uh, terrain covers or so, but this was not included yet in our simulations. However, um, if it can be disturbing that uh, the here actual evapotranspiration rem remain oscillates very little with respect, for instance, to discharges or the storage. Uh, if we look at the budget of uh, the monthly clay, as we do in this uh, in this slide here. Uh, we can see that uh, the, anyway the evapotranspiration is varying and it is varying actually it in a not trivial way which is not just dependent on radiation uh, because we can mm, think that uh, the radiation cycle during the year follow, uh, follow the seasons so is quite regular while we, here we see that uh, for instance the, the, the larger evapotranspiration happens uh, in, here in November, uh, which can be considered quite strange, but it obviously depends also on the availability of water. Uh, the information we return with our model is especially uh, varying. And here in this plot, you, uh, what you can see is the variation uh, of uh, precipitation, discharge, actual evapotranspiration and storage for the uh, for four characteristic months, each for one season, January, April, July, and October. And uh, as you can see, you have either a variation, a special variation, sometimes can be negligible, but uh, often, often, often is not, is not so negligible at all. And so we have some information, in, especially in some months, for instance, uh, for October precipitation, as you see, uh, there is a a well-defined trend uh, toward the, um, the southwest west part of the basin, as well as, for instance, also in the um, variation in the storage on the same October thing manifests a lot of variation or variation of the April storage again is uh, quite different in different hillslope. And this obviously can do a lot of difference if we uh, we go further to analyze other processes that are connected to, to these hydrological processes in the, in, in, the, in the basin. If we go further and we go to the classical um, discharge uh, uh, simulation, uh, yeah, because we have uh, an internal, uh, actually two internal, a gauge station, we can see that uh, the, uh, the discharges cal calibrated at the outlet of the basin uh, actually are able to uh, give parameters that are decently good also for uh, forecasting the, uh, the discharges in, in internal points. This is quite success, uh, quite successful thing, and uh, even if it can be improved, especially. Um, well, the, those occasions where we see that uh, uh, observation have, for instance, discharges and the simulation do not have discharges. A different case is the case of Blue Nile. The Blue Nile is one uh, 175,000 square kilometers, so it's more than 1,000 bigger than uh, the Posna River basins. Uh, still, we use the same, the same model and essentially the same hypothesis, but uh, we vary a lot of things that we will be discussing in the next, uh, in the next slides. Uh, for the, the Blue Nile, also, we have uh, a scarcity of measurement. While in the Posina River, we have 12 um, meteo stations and 3 gauge stations for discharges, here in this case, we have 
35 uh, gauge stations and measurement stations all over the basin. The question of the budget obviously is the same, but uh, um, are different the tools from uh, which we uh, determine the, the various terms that appear in, in, the, in the budget. For instance, at least at, at the global level of the whole basin, uh, we can know the, mm, the global variation in storage through the gray satellite, through gravimetry. Um, precipitation here is known essentially through satellites. Uh, and we, are, we uh, use five satellites and then we choose one. We correct the bias from, of satellites with the 35 stations that we have um, on the surface. And so we adopt a, a different technique for, for assessing the values. Uh, this charge was measured in 35 locations, but we essentially we use the same IMOD model that we use in Posina River, but here uh, with some differences. Um, uh, discharges, groundwater discharges were set to zero, and the, uh, the time step where we uh, estimate the, the budget was day, a day, not just one hour. The calibration of the model was obtained at, at the global scale of the whole basins of uh, meaning uh, 175,000 square kilometers. Uh, besides, here we uh, subdivided the basin in four, uh, 402 um, HRU, hydrologic units, and um, the sum of all the, the basins and the, plus the routing gave the, the total discharge of the basin. Uh, same as before, uh, evapotranspiration was given by the Priestley Taylor formula, and uh, uh, the unknown was uh, the, the alpha, the alpha with, the, with the delta S2. Even if we, uh, we potentially could know delta S for, um, for the whole basin to grace, in the, this experiment that we published in, uh, um, in 2017, um, we use uh, the same Budico hypothesis that we use for Posina, meaning that we assume that after five years, uh, delta S uh, was back to zero. Um, an important part of the game here was the, um, the use of uh, satellites data. The spatial distribution of, of rainfall in particular um, was uh, essential for determining correct estimate of the water budget. Uh, here you see uh, the representation of daily mean and the mean annual rainfall, which is a little bit different in the different HRUs, and those were obtained essentially from bias-corrected satellites instead of um, interpolated measurement from uh, gauge station. The modeling solution we use for the uh, Blue Nile was uh, uh, very similar to, to the one that um, we already sh saw before. We use a different calibrator. In, in particular, we use the particle swarm calibrator here. And uh, another thing, we use uh, uh, a treatment of di different um, data sets that we um, see here highlighted, highlighted in, uh, in yellow. Those parts actually are not inserted in our system, which is the JGRAS New Age system, but were uh, data pre-processed through the, uh, using the R software. We have, were able to obtain discharges for, uh, for the, all the internal points of the basin, and uh, uh, given the data that we have in, in the 35 gauge stations, we were able to uh, just to um, validate the measurement in the 35 uh, points. Um, uh, what we realized is that uh, um, our uh, calibration at the outlet of the basin uh, uh, gave good performance mostly all over the basins inside, um, as measured by the Nash-Satcliffe um, 
efficiency index, except maybe for the gauge of Lake Tana, uh, where uh, there are hydraulic controls on the, that uh, affect the discharges. As well as in the case of uh, Posina River, uh, we uh, can give uh, any of the quantity distributed for any day of the year and for all the year of simulations. And here you have a representation in particular of um, um, evapotranspiration. On the bottom row you see the forecasting that we uh, do with our model and uh, uh, on the top um, on the top, instead, you see the, mm, the estimates of uh, actual evapotranspiration given by the MODIS. As you see, the difference are, uh, uh, can be um, relatively relevant, especially in the, the, spatial, um, in the spatial distribution. But obviously, there is a characteristic that we have and the MODIS doesn't have, is that we close the water budget here. While MODIS, uh, if analyzed properly, uh, show a trend in the calculation of evapotranspiration, which makes it impossible to close the water budget. Um, all the quantities, obviously, can be uh, represented spatially varying, as you see here, and for any, um, day, uh, day, um, for any day of the year. It uh, obviously has uh, influence on whatever management can be done in the basin here. And uh, um, we think that uh, the information that could be uh, given can be of some importance. With respect to other type of estimates that uh, uh, were given, for instance, with the use of satellites, here we can guarantee that the water budget is preserved. Obviously, we can produce uh, um, plots like the one, the one that we, for instance, show already for the, uh, for the Posidon River. And here you can see the variation of each component. As you see, uh, there are trends, for instance, in discharges which are connected with the, the, the rainfall, which is commanded in the Blue Nile region uh, by, by monsoons. But... Um, uh, the, the variation of the other quality is not so trivial uh, so t or so trivially driven by uh, uh, the, fl the, fl the precipitation fluxes. Finally, uh, we use the grace for comparison. And as you see here, uh, the result we uh, simulate with new age and the result um, uh, of the oscillation of the of the water table given by GRACE. And the agreement, as you see, is extra, uh, extraordinarily good. Um, maybe we were lucky, but anyway, this is a support of the idea that uh, when you do the things uh, with uh, um, attention in the preserving the water budget, everything finally uh, goes, all the, the, the pieces of the puzzles uh, uh, go, goes in the right place. So for conclusions, uh, we show that um, how the JGRAS New Age system can be used to estimate all the terms of the water budgets. Um, maybe we didn't show very much, but the modularity of our system uh, allows the configuration of the same tools in various ways using various calibrators, for instance, in different um, in different way and uh, also uh, we show that uh, our tools can be used for instance at different time step of integrations which is not so trivial um, the result we obtained were um, quite transferable inside uh, in the basins at least for the type of verification that we could do which is not so supported in, lit in literature and uh, the result uh, kind of surprised us, and uh, um, we believe that uh, the, the add value that we have was uh, because we were trying to close the water budget in the, in the HRUs. And so having a consistent view, not only of discharges, for instance, but the whole water cycle. Um, 
we use uh, this Boudicca hypothesis, meaning that uh, we assume that the water table passed through the same level uh, after a few years. Some someone can argue that this was uh, quite arbitrary and uh, because we fixed the B, but then, especially in the Posina catchment, we also show that um, we, uh, we can variate this hypothesis and um, having some um, um, error bars on the, the results we obtained, which made more reasonable to use also uh, such an arbitrary hypothesis. The other claim that can be done is that uh, uh, being uh, the climate varying, uh, 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 assuming that uh, the system passed through the or the, the passed through this through the same point um, can be also uh, challenged. But um, obviously, uh, variation of all the components is such that uh, in any case, the the return period of the, let's say, the zero level, the same level of the, of the water uh, can be maybe not constant, but on average is varying, uh, is a second order of variation. So uh, it's not so um, unreasonable to use this type of hypothesis, at least uh, in, in, in a limited re uh, range of uh, time as we are doing. The evaporation estimates uh, um, through Taylor show a, a reasonable, uh, a reasonable patterns either in, in the time and uh, in the in, in space. However, at annual time scale, uh, the uh, actual evapotranspiration seems to be um, not to show those variations that maybe we can expect. Um, but, but for introducing those variations, we have to introduce uh, uh, various let's say, element of, for instance, of heterogeneity. This can be uh, uh, done by introducing explicitly dependence of, of um, uh, the evapotranspiration on the type of uh, uh, land covers or uh, plants or uh, things uh, introducing phenology. But obviously, th this implies to complicate the Prissy taylor formula uh, and uh, having other data that actually, in the future, we can Envision to have, for instance, from um, from satellite. Another way to improve this is obviously to, uh, can be seen to uh, to use uh, in using um, uh, the energy budget beside the, wa the water budget. All the material that uh, we show here is uh, based on op an open source. Um, material which is uh, uh, offered in the geoframe blogspot.com in, in github and uh, where we produce also a lot of documentation essentially all of this that you see in this presentation is documented and can be readily used by any of, uh, of you an introduction to the jgrass new age system that probably we um, call from now on geoframe new age can be found in the About Hydrology blog, and there is a JGRAS New Age Essential that you can Google for obtaining information. Uh, we have a Google group also for users of the JGRAS New Age system, and also a Google group for developers. Uh, with respect to the abstract that we su submitted to the uh, to the conference, we didn't talk about travel times, but each of the models that you see here is strictly, strictly connected with the uh, uh, travel times. Um, there is a one-to-one -one cor correspondence of uh, the reservoir type of models that we use and the travel times of water inside the catchment. So this in future will offer a, a further element of investigation of what happens. And these two paper, uh, the first actually is a paper, the second is a a dissertation of, um, by Maria, Maria Laura Bancheri contains all the information you need. You can uh, find this presentation not in this, uh, um, in this um, um, address that you can see here, but in the about hydrology, um, uh, in the in the about hydrology uh, blog. Many of you knows that we actually uh, produced in the past 
and in the present uh, we a model called uh, Geotop. Uh, Geotop is a different model from uh, JGRAS New Age. Uh, New Age uh, is essentially a, translated in mathematical term, a group of uh, um, ordinary differential equations solved together. And uh, each uh, set of uh, ordinary differential equation is referred to a, a HRU. Uh, while Geotop uh, uses uh, is especially explicit, so uh, is work on a grid and um, is a grid based model. And uh, um, actually, the processes are uh, described with the uh, basic law that are supposed to be valid for, for this. Uh, Geotop then has a different way to be characterized, to be, to be run. And um, actually, Geotop also preserves mass, well, besides mass, preserves also energy. So, um, this uh, um, paradigm of pre using the uh, conservation laws for uh, obtaining results is much more, um, in, uh, ma ma much more implemented actually in Geotop. However, Geotop is, a, is a demanding from the point of view of computation, and probably some of the computation we did for, for instance, for the, the lunar could not be done with the Geotop in a reasonable time. Who want information uh, about Geotop can be a look to geotop.org on the on the Geotop essential in about hydrologies. And um, obviously, uh, the uh, Geotop can give you more detailed special information. And uh, as I said before, uh, the, mm, it comes with a, mm, a trade-off that uh, uh, more information means actually more computational time and sometimes um, make this computation unfeasible for a reason. But more than computational time with the grow or the grow computational power and the use, for instance, of parallel machines with thousands of cores, uh, this can be done. There are uh, examples in, in recent literature that vast part of continental areas were done with model, model similar to Geotop or the same type of Geotop, but not so complex as Geotop, to be sincere. And um, a more uh, detailed explanation, anyway, of how uh, Geotop can be used can be found in this uh, scale uh, hydrology in 2020, which is another post and another presentation given in the about hydrology um, post.